Hello and welcome to another update video about Chainlink. Um, yeah, is now a little bit deeper in the support area, but so far has um, has done nothing unusual. Yeah, we talked about that um, of this low, which was made back on the 13th of February, that we probably rallied here in a wave one. At least we can assume that we did rally into resistance, came down in a wave, rallied against resistance again in a B wave. So this was a um, profitable turnaround area and we're now heading again into the area here that was expected yeah, in, in a C wave to complete this wave two. And we've got there the spectrum between 688 and 745 um, as possible support areas here. And um, we've got five waves down in wave C now as well. So this could nearly finish. Yeah, It could nearly finish and then turn around and rally in the third wave. In this scenario, it should actually break above this resistance. So I'm going to move that to the left hand side. Um, <clears throat> that should in a third wave not really be relevant anymore. Okay, so it will be interesting. Um, with that scenario, it's basically following Bitcoin Ethereum. And um, yeah, it's now just hovering around the 61.8 retracement. Maybe it goes down a bit lower. Yeah, maybe. I think um, there's certain confluence around 690 where I wouldn't be surprised if we come down once more, test the 690 level or just above it, turn around, rally in a third wave. What would be the target for the third wave? So first of all, please understand that this move would most likely take it out of the range which uh, in which we have been since May 22. So this wave three should take it above 950. Why would it do that? Because if this is the correct count, it should take it into sort of the 1040, 1050 area. So this will be highly interesting. Yeah. So what I'm currently looking at as is that this orange third wave is currently subdividing in five more waves. One, two, three, four, five of the third, then there should be a fourth and a fifth. So that's interesting. Um, below 688, 689. However, I think we are uh, possibly on track to making a new low below the um, June lows last year, because this scenario is still on the map, still on the chart. Yeah, it could very well be that we're just retracing here to the upside in a wave two after we came down in November in a wave one. It's just an ABC, yeah, and then we came come down lower. That would be the bear market scenario, but. Uh, this is still very realistic for for link but it all depends on does the market now use this chance and does it turn around here um in my opinion it has a good chance to do so it's currently holding just above this 61.8 retracement um but i'm of the view that we only have three waves currently in the fifth wave here so it could become a diagonal pattern it might just do the fourth and then come down once more so if i if i wanted to do a little bit of sub wave counting you know, I would count this as one, two, three, four, five, and might become in like an, uh, a descending wedge type of thing, um, ending diagonal in the fifth wave of the C wave of the wave two. So something like this of sorts, uh, where we are going to see and head into an apex somehow, you know, this is not super well defined. Um, just want to show you here how it could possibly work out um, what you often expect uh, in, in such a pattern. And then um, in this diagonal, the fifth wave should be shorter than the, thir the third. So that's another um, level of confluence, depending on how high we go. Yeah, But I think a lot would point towards around about 690. We'll see. So um, expect here turn around shortly, maybe already now. Yeah, sometimes you just don't get this last low. We are in the support area anyway. Yeah, okay, and that's my update about Link. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.